Okay, in this video, let's talk about the one specific key that you need to do to hit your driver straighter. Now, of course, we all want more power, more distance, but if you fix this one thing in your swing, you'll hit the center of the club face more often, which will give you more distance. Now, this one specific thing you need to work on for the driver is unique to the driver. It really doesn't work with any other club. And we're looking at Tiger here, obviously. And as he's winding this thing up, the thing you want to look at is what's happening with his body position. We know driver works better with extension. Driver works better if you don't cock your wrists up so early. Those are all things that help you sweep it or hit up on the ball. But really as he's winding this thing to the top, the non-negotiable is a reverse pivot. You have to keep your body tilted away from the target. And if that means that your head moves slightly to the right, totally fine. Keeping that head dead center over here staring at the ball does not help you. You have to get that spine tilted away from the target. You can see how Tiger has actually increased his tilt slightly from 10 degrees to more than that at the top of the swing. One of the best drivers in the game right now, Bryson DeChambeau, working on speed, power, all those things, still knows he has to hit this position or he's tilted behind the ball. The only way to hit up on the golf ball is to stay back with your upper body Head staying back behind the ball big time. See here he's increasing his tilt as he comes down, which shallows the plane, of course, but allows you to hit up on the golf ball. I see a lot of people struggling with the driver who get into this type of a position where they're tilting the other direction. Hips have gone a little bit this way, or they're just reaching back to crush the ball and in an attempt to reach back. The spine goes from maybe tilted back this way and then eventually it's just tipping and tipping all the way over as the player reaches back for more power and that club just gets way too far back here, but mainly because they've ruined their pivot motion. The reason it's vital that you learn this pivot motion is because it will fix the swing plane of your driver and specifically when you first start down from the top. Once you're in this position, when you first start this club back down to the ball, it will plane out immediately and be shallow enough to come in low to the ground and sweep up at the ball. Once you've tipped over at all, you start moving this direction, you will change that angle. The club will start to come down too steep, either over the top or into the ground. Either way, you're gonna slice the ball, pop it up, hit the toe, lots of shots that are not good for long, straight driver shots or tee shots. So here's Tiger from the other view, same swing. And as he changes direction, since he's tilted back Behind the ball, can't see it as well from this angle, of course, but we know he is based on the other video. Watch this, the butt end of that club is gonna shallow out and start to move in this kind of a direction instead of what bad players do or bad drivers do when they're coming more this way, over the top, chopping down on it. And once it's in this position, it's on a shallow plane and it can start to get low to the ground coming in and hit up on that ball. So simply a non-negotiable. You, you must fix this if you're a bad driver. You can't get away from it. You have to fix that movement. Talked about Bryson here a little bit while ago. You can see as he starts out, not tilted too much, somewhere between probably eight and 10 degrees of tilt to the right. Massive extension, good drivers have width. And not much hinge we talked about with Tiger Swing and the early bout of the backswing. Iron shots, you're hinging it more. Driver, keep that hinge happening later, huge turn, great extension, and now he's really created that tilt way back behind the golf ball. And while you may every now and then see a good player who does get close to vertical, a Sergio Garcia, or a player that just barely inverts his spine like a Fred Couples, it is not the norm. Most great golfers and great drivers are tilted back behind it because that allows you to consistently shallow the plane through here Staying behind with your head. There's all the tilt. Sweep the ball off the tee and extend, which gives you solid contact, center face contact, which creates the least amount of side spin if you're on plane. And of course, better energy transfer from these amazing drivers we have today. If you're working in the mirror to fix your reverse pivot, or if you're working in the mirror to fix this pivot motion in general, one drill you can do is to sort of wind up, hang an alignment stick sort of off the center of your chest and it should hang out here 
over your right foot. If you're pivoting incorrectly, of course your spine is hanging this direction, not a lot of turn, and the stick is gonna hang out closer to your left foot. Okay, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.